unfortunately it's parked on the sidewalk and then the other one was parked on the pedestrian crossing. 10,000 kuha mo sa lisensang to? Oo. Oh. Bakit? Sabi ko sa akin sa akin. Ha? Yung ko yung nagano sa akin sa akin. Bakit yung kumayag ko? Bakit hindi ka dumaan na lang sa tamang proseso? Bakit na natapos kayo hindi kayo bumasa? Ayaw niyong pumila. Eh bakit nga? Ba't kayo pumayag? na magbayad ng lisensyang 10,000 pesos na piki. So, towing crew hooking up to both these vehicles now to clear them off the sidewalk. Look at that. It looks more like it's being taken away from a crash scene than a, a legal parking violation. And there goes the other one now being pulled behind the tow truck. At least this one is in a better condition. The team came across this parked truck just to give you an idea, sense of scale. Look at that, keeps going, keeps going. My goodness. I do understand that the load isn't super heavy, but remember when the truck recently dropped its load on EDSA and then caused hours of traffic for everyone? What kind of license is that? It looks like it's been nibbled by a rat. They just flagged down this motorcycle rider, mummy, child, no crash helmet no shoes and no license i saw the same thing a couple of days ago in another city and the enforcer was feeling bad to impound the bike the problem is if you let them go and they have an accident they'll say hey you know they didn't have a helmet you know they don't have a license why did you let them go you're partially responsible for the accident so they really have no choice but to impound it the mmda flagged down a passing tricycle so they can ride that instead that's a no license guarantee, just wait for it. Initial violation, no shoes. And there you go, confirmed. The driver or rider is not able to show a license. According to the owner of that car that just got towed off the sidewalk, he's paying 1,800 per month to the property owner to park there on the public sidewalk. I have no way to verify that, but I can't imagine why he would lie about it. There was another gentleman in a black t-shirt. He said he used to park there and pay one five per month. Again, I have no way to verify it, but why would multiple people lie? They did ask the property owner, but they said, no, we're not charging anything. So conflicting stories. They stopped this rider here. No helmet, no shoes. Very interesting box on the bike and allegedly you can't show a license. So you already know what that means. Impound the motorcycle. The crazy thing is, while he doesn't have shoes, helmet or license, he does have an amplifier and it's wired up for music. My goodness. There you go. They just flagged down this motorcycle rider. Unfortunately, his passenger's not wearing a crash helmet. Obviously, he should know. He's holding the crash helmet, but he's not wearing it on top of his head. Dito lang kami. Jan lang ako. Paano pag sa kabilang kanto lang, bigla kayo natumbok ng olang sa sakya na parating? Ikaw, safe ka. Kasi naka-helmet ka, paano yung angkas mo? Di ba? Pwede naman kami sa kamisot, ba? Pwede naman hindi po matiging sa So ito lang naman po, sir. Bigla lang po kayo yung battle. Yun nga problema eh. Nasanay kayo pag dito lang, dyan lang. Pwede hindi naka-helmet, pwede walang dalang lisensya, pwede naka-chinelas. Nasanay kasi kayo ng ganun. This guy is looking at the enforcers. He's still going forward. There you go. Five minutes has grabbed him. No helmet, no shoes. Good morning, everyone. MMDA back on the road. Color Oakland City issuing a ticket to this vehicle for illegal parking on the sidewalk. There is actually a lot of vehicles sitting on the sidewalk. The drivers come out in time. It's just a ticket. Otherwise, they'll be towed away. I saw a motorcycle rider with no crash helmet, no shoes. It's going to be stopped by the enforcer, or he might try and turn around. Let's see. The crazy thing is, he just came from EDSA. This rider actually drew attention to himself because he kept honking at everyone. So now he's being flagged down anyway, driving in slippers. This is actually the second enforcer that tried to stop this gentleman. And at first, he kept going, so I don't know. And over here, the towing crew hooking up to this one. Actually, they've already connected it. They're just doing some finishing touches. I thought I was in Times Square. One, two, three, four, five, six signs advertising 
a nearby hotel. Anyway, they just flagged down that rider. No helmet, no shoes. The rider already handed over his license, so write out the ticket, send him on his way. He will be asked to push the bike instead of continuing to ride without a helmet. There goes at least one vehicle on the back of the tow truck. And right now the Scope team are trying to get these people to remove all their stuff from the sidewalk. Looks like it might be some kind of vulcanizing or repair shop. These two motorcycles parked on the sidewalk were already ticketed and now they're going to be taken by the towing crew also. This rider has a nice bike, nice baseball cap, but no shoes, no helmet and he cannot show a license. So the enforcer called for the towing crew to pick up the bike. Oh, one more car going on the back of the tow truck here. Considered to be illegally parked. And right now the SCOP team are asking this canteen to remove all their stuff from the sidewalk. But if I have a passenger, no crash helmet. A lot of people don't take their safety seriously. And then when they fall down and they realize, hey, this is so expensive in medical costs. I can't go to work anymore, so I'm not earning. Can't look after my kid because I can't get out of bed. That's the time they realize I should have just worn a helmet if they actually survive because you can get really unlucky. Even a crash at slow speed, you hit your head on the floor, it can all end. Here's another tricycle that the towing crew are taking off the sidewalk now. No one came out to take a ticket or anything like that. The sticker on the front of this motorcycle says Office of the President, but again, I doubt he's from the Office of the President. People just buy stickers and then, well, you know why they put them there. You might remember when the MMDA apprehended a Hubble Hubble on Edsa and he's using MMDA stickers. They asked him, do you work for MMDA? He said no. According to the rider, he works for a construction company, but someone gave this to him now. A little bit further along, you can see the whole sidewalk was converted to an extension of the house. So everyone who comes along here is walking in the road and then hoping they don't get squashed by a passing car, tricycle, motorcycle.